back to the early days of the American Football League. They've combined to win five of the last seven titles in the AFC West. And today from Oakland, it's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Oakland Raiders. And hello, everyone. As you look at the black hole, Bill McAtee, along with Steve Berline, you can tell there's so much energy here these folks are all pumped up and neither of these teams really where they expected to be at this point of the season but the Raiders Steve have a chance to get a little something going they've won two of their last three well they have Bill and their success is directly related to the development of Kerry Collins who says this offense is finally starting to make sense to him he made a lot of big plays down the stretch last week against Denver several of which went to his young wide receivers and the most spectacular of all of them was this incredible one-handed leaping grab by Ronald Curry to pull the Raiders within a touchdown of the Denver Broncos and those guys are going to have and are expected to make a lot of big plays today for the Raiders. That was a pretty amazing catch for an ex-quarterback. i got to give you a little more credit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trent Green is going to play today. We won't see Priest Holmes for the fourth consecutive week. Well, Trent Green has got a lot on his shoulders today because Priest Holmes is out. He got injured last week, and he came back off of a, a very painful rib injury. He did not practice Wednesday or Thursday, but Friday took all the snaps. Feels good. He's going to give it a shot today, and they're expecting big things out of him like they always do. North Turner in his first year as head coach of the Raiders, week by week. You see that offense starting to come around. Kerry Collins and those talented young receivers really starting to click. Dick Vermeil was born in Northern California, out in the wine country in Calistoga. Played quarterback down the road at San Jose State. When you're three and eight, there's a lot of focus on the negative. So he showed his team a video this week of all the things they did well in the loss last week against San Diego. The Raiders have won the toss. They'll receive Lawrence Tynes, the first year kicker, born in Scotland, but grew up in Florida. Getting ready to kick it off. The 91st meeting between the Chiefs and the Raiders, a rivalry that goes back to 1960, the first year of the old AFL. And let's establish right now, Bill, there is no love loss between these two clubs. These guys do not like each other, and there will be a lot of emotion on this football field today. Getting it set just right. Meanwhile, there's Doug Gabriel, averaging 22 yards of return, has a long of 64 that came in week three against Tampa and he's back there with J.R. Redman. So we're set to go and underway here in Oakland. Gabriel at the two. Gets it out to the 32 yard line. Chris Horn made the stop. And that's where the Raiders will start first and 10. That offense starting to roll behind Kerry Collins. He threw 45 times Sunday night against Denver for 339 yards and four touchdowns. Up front, Robert Gallery, the rookie, has fit in nicely. The offensive line has done a good job in pass protection. Zeraway will start at running back for Tyrone Wheatley. We'll also see some of Justin Fargus today. First and 10 for the Raiders. Quick pass out in the flat. Ronald Curry and that's one of the things the Raiders would like to do with this offense is get Curry in space and let him operate because he is so athletic. Let's uh, put our eye on the Oakland Raiders. Well when you talk about this game today the Raiders they need to exploit the young Kansas City Chiefs safeties. They're the last two safeties on the roster now as everybody knows Tony Gonzalez is the number one threat for the Kansas City Chiefs. They've got to contain him and they got to build the emotion and the enthusiasm, the confidence they got from that big win in Denver last week. Second and five, J.R. Redmond has checked in. Collins will run the screen to Redmond. He's got some room, a first down and more. Into Kansas City territory and down to the 41-yard line. Willie Pyle, the strong safety, made the stop after a pickup of 22. Let's take a look at the Kansas City defense. The rookie, Jared Allen, out of Idaho State, has been impressive at right defensive end. Scott Fujita is the only original starter playing at linebacker. He's from Cal. And Willie Pyle gets his second start at strong safety. There are certainly question marks in that Kansas City secondary. And those are question marks that the Raiders are going to attack very early this game. North Turner said he wanted to put the pressure on them early. Collins will throw again up the sidelines. Tipped away and incomplete. That was intended for Gabriel and William Barty had him step for step. 
Second and 10, the Raiders off to a very fast start. And what we're going to see today, Bill, is exactly what we just saw in that play. You saw Doug Gabriel at the top of the screen there. They're going to try and push the ball up the field, make some plays, because everybody that follows the Kansas City Chiefs knows they score a lot of points, but they give up a lot big plays and that is what scares Dick Vermeil about this Raiders team too is they're not afraid to take shots at the field pitch out to Justin Fargus he has the corner still on his feet and Pyle made the stop after another Oakland first down a gain of 15 and the Raiders really want to see what they have with Justin Fargus and they're going to get a good look at Justin Fargus today because of the injury to Tyrone Wheatley he's a young running back very explosive you saw right there his ability to get outside on the edge and if you give him some room he's going to make up a lot of ground very quickly made a nice good start to his day right there the Raiders have scored only 18 points total in the first quarter through 11 games Zach Crockett is now in the backfield Raiders mixing it quick pass Another Oakland first down and Ronald Curry. The ex North Carolina quarterback has become the Raiders second leading receiver behind Jerry Porter. Now as we mentioned in the open bill Carrie Collins is starting to feel much more comfortable in this offense. You saw right there a very decisive quick decision on the money making the completions and North Turner told us one of the things that Kerry has struggled to learn is that when you call a play with a big shot up the field you don't necessarily have to throw it up the field you can't be afraid to take the check down if the big play isn't there Kerry's feeling more comfortable with that every week opening drive the Raiders are threatening Collins to the end zone incomplete it was intended for Porter who tried to make the over the shoulder grab he had a step on Eric Warfield and man, what a this was a great throw by Kerry Collins. Anticipated it very well, put it right in the corner where only Jerry Porter could catch it. And we, we saw him last week make a couple of tougher catches than that. That ball was right on the money. Jerry Porter will be the first one to tell you if the Raiders want to win this game, he's got to make that catch. Coming off that monster game against Denver in the snow, six catches for a career high 135 yards and three touchdowns. Second and ten after the incomplete pass. Collins straight back under pressure. They run the screen. Redmond. And Redmond is brought down near the ten. Call it the 11-yard line by Shenard Hartz, the free safety. A Kansas City came right there with a pretty much a full-out blitz off of both edges. The Raiders had the right play called a screen, screen pass where Kerry was just going to give some ground, dump it over the top. The one problem was that the Raiders offensive lineman in all the commotion caused by the Chiefs blitz could not get out in front to open up the hole. J.R. Redmond is in on third down. Call it six out in the flat. That's going to be short of the first down complete to Curry. Curry dives forward inside the 10 yard line but it will be about three three and a half yards short. So we'll he had not missed since the game against Houston in early October 16 of 19 on the season coming in and I think the footing today is a little better than it was last week in uh, in Denver 27 yarder is good so the Raiders march down the field and come up with three points 11 3 left in the first This one's old school. It goes back a long way. Kerry Collins relatively new to this. Five of seven for 44 yards on the drive, and the X Factor will take it at the six-yard line. He broke one last week, almost had another, but fumbled going into the end zone, and he's brought down from behind Dante Hall at the 35-yard line by Tim Johnson. Well, Trent Green missed practice Wednesday and Thursday with bruised ribs behind that line again filling in for Priest Holmes but we'll also see Larry Johnson so first possession for Kansas City from the 45 yard line they run the toss to the left side Blaylock and nothing doing back to the line of scrimmage Napoleon Harris made the stop and let's put our established their Achilles heel has been giving up big plays defensively They've got to contain the Raiders and keep them from the big play second and ten Again on the ground right side Laylock able to turn the corner And gets it out across the 40 to the 41 Huffing and puffing 
early. See if they can soften him up on the inside. Third and four for the Chiefs from the shotgun. Green has time, and that's caught. Gonzalez, and he is into the Raider territory. Charles Woodson made the tackle, a pickup of 12. Way to control, contain Tony Gonzalez today. And they spotted at the 48, so a pickup of 11 off the play action. Green throws back to play lock, and he's got some room. And another Kansas City first down, finally upended at the 36-yard line by Charles Woodson, a gain of 13. Three receivers to the right side. Now they run motion. Cost to Blaylock. And great penetration by the Raiders. Woodson was coming. So a loss of a couple on the play. Make 26th in the NFL in total defense. 22nd against the run. And 26 against the pass. Second and 13, Green will have to move. Slides it down and picks up two. It'll be third and long. I think he's a big guy until you see him standing by Ted Washington. And they came rumbling out during the pregame, leading the team, and you could feel the ground move. Third, Green. And there's a flag on the play that's caught a yard or two short of the first down by Johnny Morton. And it looks like I think there might be some kind of illegal contact or holding maybe on Charles Woodson, who was guarding Eddie Kinnison over the middle of the field. Lee, our referee. Illegal contact, defense number 24. Penalized team in the NFL gave him the first down anyway. And that's a tough one on third and long. So fresh set of downs for Kansas City. Keeping the drive alive, they go back to the ground. On the sweep, Laylock down close to the 25-yard line. Woodson made the tackle. They're minus seven overall. Six of those turnovers coming in the red zone. Laylock around the right side, able to cut it back inside and get it close to the 20 for another Kansas City first down. And as you said, Bill, the red zone, where they are right now, the 20-yard line, they just picked up a first down. They got the ball just outside the 20. They have been one of the most successful teams in the red zone. Ninth play of the drive coming. First possession for Kansas City. Laylock. Stopped after a yard. Derek Laylock in his fourth year out of Stephen F. Austin. Fifth round draft choice. Go, Derek Laylock. They're obviously not afraid to pump the ball to him. He's run the ball several times a day. He's a good, solid NFL running back. Second and nine, play action. They're going to throw it back to Blaylock. Bobbles it, but able to haul it in. And has room up the sideline. Touchdown. What a great executed, a very well executed play. You had a good, hard play action up the middle, trying to get the Raiders going with the flow. And Derek Blaylock did a great job out behind his offensive lineman. You'll see number 62, Casey Wigman, coming out to lead the thing. There he is coming around the corner. Great block sealing the edge on Charles Woodson. It made Derek Blaylock's job pretty easy. Just scoop. able to get into the end zone in their first possession. First touchdown catch of the year for Blaylock. Eight combined. The extra point by Tynes is good. And Kansas City is on the board. Ten plays. Very good on that first drive. We'll see if they can keep it going. Tides kick. He's taken Gabriel at the three-yard line. Got a seam. And driven out of bounds at the 40 by the kicker, Tynes. Returns. Raiders have run the ball only once. They came in rank last in the NFL in rushing. First and 10 from the 40, and movement in the line, and whistles and flags everywhere. And unless we had some subtle movement, we're going to have offsides on the Chiefs. Encroachment, defense, number 90, five-yard penalty. They call it on down. Ryan Sims, the defensive tackle. Yeah, Bill, you talk about North Turner, though, and, and, and the Raiders only running the ball once and being 32nd ranked in the NFL. Well, there's a reason for that. North Turner wants to run the football. He's known as a coach who wants to run and throw play action up the field. 
but he's had injuries to his offensive line. He lost a good blocking tight end and young Courtney Anderson. They've had running back injuries, so he feels the best way for them to move the football is through the air right now. Justin Fargus alone in the backfield, straight back again. Up the sidelines. And that might have been picked off. That was a nice play by Doug Gabriel to slap it away. Barty had a real shot at an interception. Almost another wonderful circus catch by one of these young Raider receivers. Three of them, Doug Gabriel, Jerry Porter, and Ronald Curry are all 6'2 in that 215, 220 range. And we saw what Ronald Curry did last week with that one-handed circus catch against the Broncos. And Doug Gabriel almost came down with that ball. And I think he probably feels that he should have caught that ball. J.R. Redmond is now in the backfield. Second and five. Redmond fights his way out across the 45 to the 46, 47 yard line. Well, Gabriel came in today as the Raiders' leading receiver in yards per catch, but these are some good young talents. Porter, Curry, and Gabriel. Look at that. You got three receivers with each of them at least one catch over 50 yards. That is not very common in the NFL. These are all young receivers, too. It needs to be illustrated. These guys are still learning. Ronald Curry is a converted quarterback who's learning more and more every day, so high hopes for these young receivers. Third and three. College, it's a first down and more. And Curry had some room up the sidelines. Finally driven out of bounds at the 34-yard line. But Collins able to hit him right in stride. And you look at this guy, Ronald Curry. Kerry Collins gives him a nice ball coming across the field, catches on the move. This is a guy who went to the University of North Carolina as a basketball player, but he also played high school football. Wanted to go out and give football a shot at North Carolina. He became their starting quarterback. The Raiders brought him in as an athlete. He's turned out to be an unbelievable young wide receiver for him. And he thinks like a quarterback, though. That's why Kerry Collins loves going to him, because he sees the whole field. Zeraway is the deep back on first down. Play action. Collins, he threw 45 times against Denver. That's caught by Zach Crockett. He's driven out of bounds inside the 30. Four sides of the field that I'm not comfortable with. Second and five. Zeraway stays in the game as the deep back. Collins again to the air and out to Crockett once again. And he's close to another first down. Out of and it's just been circumstances. He's been learning the offense this year. The Giants were struggling last year. He wants to get that monkey off his back today, though. I can guarantee you that. From the 21 yard line, Collins has to move to the outside, being pursued. That is incomplete. Doug Gabriel had it, but probably took his eyes off the ball to check the sideline and couldn't hang on. Now, Bill, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now that the Kansas City Chiefs need to start tightening up their coverage. I'm seeing things up here looking at the field. There are guys running open up the field right now. Kerry's been flushed out of the pocket a couple times, maybe came off his reads a little bit quick once or twice. Kerry Collins flushed out of the pocket on that play by Lionel Dalton. After the incomplete pass. And 10 middle. Farkas fighting his way for an extra yard inside the 15, down to the 13 yard line. The week of short little three yard throw that picks up seven yards for him. Third and three, the ball just touching the 14 yard line. J.R. Redman is alone in the backfield now. And whistles. Yeah, Kerry saw something coming off the edge. I think William Barty was showing blitz, and Kerry realized that. Timeout Raiders, that's their first. Timeout was called before the delay of game. First possession, both teams scoring on their opening possessions. Third and three. 14, here come the Chiefs, and again, we've got flags and whistles. Before the ball was snapped, ball start, offense, number 85, five-yard penalty. On one coverage, and he got a little too excited. Raiders right at 100 yards, so now it's third and long. Redmond in the backfield, short drop for Collins. It's tipped and incomplete. Ronald Curry was Kennedy, so we'll see. 
on the play before where the Raiders jumped off sides. That time they dropped back and played soft defense and Kerry was throwing a slant to the left side and it was pretty well covered. So I think he's pretty lucky that ball was tipped. This from 36 yards. That's a chip shot for Janikowski. So another field goal for the Raiders, 7-6, Kansas City in the first. Network Associates Coliseum and our views of the Coliseum and Oakland area, courtesy of the Saturn Lightship, the crew of the Saturn Lightship. Hope you're enjoying today's Chiefs Raiders game here on CBS. And uh, everybody's out in full force over the black hole. The X Factor takes it at the 15 yard line, reverses field, has some room. Look uh -oh. out. And driven out of bounds just short of the 49 yard line. Ronald Curry made the stop after a now because of the way they started the season, but the hopes going into the season were very high for them. The other three teams, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, San Diego, have surprised pretty much everybody from the start. On the ground, Blaylock up the middle into Raider territory down to the 47 yard line, getting back to the pole for a second. Drew Brees and that whole team were pretty much thrown off, cast away for, for Dunn. And look what they're doing now. It's an amazing story. Second and six. They fake the reverse. Now they run the screen to Blaylock. There's a flag down. And Blaylock is close to a Kansas City first down at the 41-yard line. Danny Clark made the stop. Illegal shift, offense, numbers 87 and 80 were moving at the same time. Five yard penalty, repeat second down. They get a little bit confused and I'm sure one of them just forgot to step up on the line or step off the line. It's gonna happen in this offense though. So. so that negates a nice gain and it's second and 11. Morton is a motion man. Green straight back and whistles. Before the ball was snapped, the quarter ended. That's the end of the first Couldn't quarter. Put it better himself. That's the end of the first quarter. Back to Oakland after these messages. You're back in Oakland to start the second quarter. The Chiefs have lost four straight, their longest losing streak since 2001. But those losses have come by less than six points a game. Second and 11 as we start the second. They give it delay to Blaylock. He has some running room. Still on his feet, and finally rumbles down to the 43-yard line. Nice gain, Charles Woodson and Denard Walker combined to make the stop. I have, it's really, nobody runs as well as Kansas City does right now. Mark Bolger and St. Louis, they run it as well, but Trent Green, they've got this thing mastered. It's a great little changeup. Third and one after the pickup of 10. Laylock, and he's got another Kansas City first down inside the 40. In short situations like that one right there and you're going to be pretty successful if you can manage those situations like that the nfl's leading offense the last two years blaylock again and tripped up at the 34 yard line by Tiger. the last two seasons when they were the number one rated offense in the nfl they fake the reverse to morton and they throw it Intercepted. Oh my goodness. Philip Buchanan. <laughs> I'll tell you, Philip Buchanan, the, the self-proclaimed show, the show, he he had a chance, and I think he got a little too out of this ball. Should have been caught, kicked up in the air. Philip Buchanan thought he had it right there and got a little excited. Tony Gonzalez will make that catch 99 times out of 100, but Gave it to Philip Buchanan. I don't think Buchanan felt there was any chance. That Ooh, Gonzalez wasn't going to handle that. That ball is on the ground. They're going to call it an incomplete pass, but what a hit. Namdi Asamoa. Wow. The second year quarterback out of Cal. And Derek Blaylock is still down. Let's let's listen to this shot. You you don't think they know how to pop it out here in Oakland? Let's see what this the sounds pass like. Is incomplete. The pass is ruled incomplete. It's fourth down. Oh goodness. 
That hurt to hear. Timeout on the field, 7-6, Kansas City. That's a welcome sight, Derek Blaylock leaving the field under his own power. And you're not going to find a bigger hit than this one. Namdi Asamoa on the full run. I am just glad that Derek Blaylock was able to get up after it. Like, because you know, you celebrate the hit, you talk about what a great hit. Man, he could have been hurt very badly on that play. I'm very relieved to see him walk off the field. Steve Cheek on the punt for Kansas City, standing right at midfield. Philip Buchanan is the deep man. Kind of pooches it. And it bounces into the end zone. The Chiefs unable to down it. So it will come out to the 20. 34-yard punt. No return. Entered the call of the wild. Right there. So after the first punt of the game, the Raiders will take over at their own 20. Collins wants to play action. Throws it away. Loosely intended for Ronald Curry. Maybe they just feel like they want to get carry on outside. They keep it on the ground to zero away. Plays over, on the man. Right Plays side over. of the line, and that's good for a couple, but it will bring up third and long. Respect the defensive coach. This team has been decimated by injuries defensively, young players. They're just a few more big plays than anybody would like to see in that Kansas City organization. Third down, and that's incomplete. Gunther Cunningham, by the way, after the incomplete pass intended for Porter, Cunningham was the defensive coordinator for the Raiders at one time in his career. He was, and also a former head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. Very, as I said, very respected defensive coordinator. This is a very uncharacteristic year when he's going through, and his defensive players, Lionel Dalton told us on, on, on Saturday that he takes it very personal because he expects his defense to be top five, not bottom five in the NFL. And Jimmy Ray, by the way, the offensive coordinator for the Raiders, was once the offensive coordinator for the Chiefs. Dante Hall takes it at the 37-yard line. And finally buried at the 45. Good field position. Chiefs start from their own 45-yard line. Green. Up the scene, that's caught by Johnny Morton, and Morton is down to the 32-yard line. And that's what we expected them to try to do more today, exploit the middle of the field and the inexperience of those safeties. That was good for 23 yards. Yeah, Trent Green came out with a, a little bit of an exotic formation. They, they flexed tailback Larry Johnson, who's now in for Derek Blaylock. Side, gave the Raiders a new look it spread the field out and they had seams going right the middle putting a lot of pressure on the free safety Trent Green made the right choice obviously Laylock had his, his helmet on a moment ago we have flags he looked like he was ready to come in the official word was a slight strain Larry Johnson has checked in and Johnson was scheduled to come in before for Kansas the ball City snap, ball start offense number 77 Feels that the substitution with Larry Johnson could not have come at a better time today because uh, his bell is probably still ringing a little bit. It's good to see him with the helmet on, though. Green, plenty of time. Intercepted! Woodson! And that was a bit unlucky for Kansas City because the receiver slipped and fell down. And Woodson was all alone. Yeah, you'll see Johnny Morton right there, number 80, coming up, making the break. He actually had a, had Charles Woodson beat, but he slips coming out of the break. Charles Woodson, you can't make a mistake on a corner like that because he will make you pay every time. That's why he's regarded as one of the ultimate down corners in this league. If you're going to make a play on him, you got to keep your feet or he'll make you pay. And that's one of those timing patterns. And there really wasn't anything Trent Green could do about it. The ball was already on its way. Trent Green threw that ball when Johnny Morton made his break. Johnny Morton was still on his feet. He threw it when he had to. Just an unfortunate happening for the Kansas City Chiefs. After a 24-yard return, back come the Raiders. And zero way slips at the 45-yard line as the Raiders get into Kansas City territory. 
look at this. One of the most important stats in football, turnover ratio. You got two of the worst right now in the NFL in the Raiders and Kansas City, second and seventh, respectively, in the league. You don't win a lot of ball games. One team's three and eight, one team's four and seven. The first thing that most knowledgeable football fans would do would go straight to that turnover differential. That tells a lot of the story. Second and three. Collins straight back. And that is caught by Gabriel, and it's going to be a Raider first down. And you know, Bill, on that turnover differential subject, you're talking about a team in the Kansas City Chiefs. It's now minutes remaining in the half. The Raiders are on the move inside the 35 to the 34. Collins goes back on the screen to Curry. Curry has some room. Ronald Curry. And he's going to score. He looks like he's very comfortable playing wide receiver right now. Thirty-four yards. Fifth touchdown of the year for the ex-North Carolina quarterback. And a perfect play call at the perfect time and excellent execution by the Raiders. You don't see wideouts on a screen like that very often. Great design, great execution. Janikowski with the extra point. The kick is it's good. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Nine minutes left in the half. 13-7. And it is electric here in Oakland. All back deep for Kansas City. Takes it a yard deep in the end zone. The X Factor waits for his blocking to develop. And finally, he's driven down after a nice return at the 42 yard line by Ray Buchanan. A return of 44 yards. Flag down on the play. Let's uh, check the penalty. The Raiders the are... Illegal block in the back by the receiving team, number 35. The 10 penalty. Kansas City keeps the ball. First down. Raiders indicating it's the Chiefs, and it is. And let's take another look at the touchdown. Yeah, there is so much that goes into executing a play. Here's Ronald Curry right here. Now look at this. They've given the hard play action to this side of the field. Kansas City only has two guys on the back side to defend this, a brilliantly set up play. You get the offensive lineman out in front of Ronald Curry, knocking people out of the way. And you let Ronald Curry use his athletic ability to take care of the rest. Well, let's see if Kansas City can answer. Move it back to the 20. Johnson tripped up. Larry Johnson had a career high 43 yards on 10 carries. Last week against San Diego, getting back to the Oakland offense, Steve, for just a moment for sort of the, the mad scientist offensive play calling of a Norv Turner, a guy who loves to have all kinds of weapons and do all kinds of things. It's neat to have a talent, an athletic guy like Curry to get out in space and try to make things happen. That's exactly it opens up so many more options for you and a guy that can handle mentally asking him to do all those things like Ronald Curry is showing he can do. Second and eight, it's tipped and incomplete. And that was a good job of getting pressure by the Raiders inside. You had Turdell Sands and company all jumping up in there. Bobby Hamilton, number 98, they got up and got a hand on that ball. And that's one of the things they want to do. They told us they feel like Trent Green is a different quarterback if you can find a way to get up in his face a little bit, especially with those tender ribs. Third and long from the shotgun. And they're loud here in Oakland. Green out in the flat. Richardson, and he's going to be short of the first down. The Chiefs will have to punt. Namdi Asamoa made the tackle. And that was a great job.
by the Raiders knowing third and long they can just drop back take away all the threats up the field Rob Ryan the defensive coordinator for the Oakland Raiders super job of giving the giving the Kansas City Chiefs the underneath throw come up make the tackle make them punt you're going to get good field position again for your offense cheeks punt off the side of his foot and the Raiders are going to have good field position again goes out of bounds at about the 43 yard line Back with more from Oakland in a moment. 13-7 Raiders. Line. Zaraway is alone in the backfield. And they give it to him on the right side. Tries to bounce it to the outside. Slips turning the corner. Drop, dives forward to the 45-yard line. But Kansas City won't score. They're back in control. So they want to score touchdowns, not field goals. Redmond. And he is hit immediately at the 48-yard line by Mitchell, the middle linebacker. Well, we've talked about those talented young receivers from the Raiders and day in and day out in practice. It could not have been a better learning environment for Ronald Curry, Doug Gabriel, Jerry Porter to learn from two for sure certain Hall of Famers. Third and four, Collins pumps it, goes up, he has Porter all alone. yards and right now this Raider offense is a humming machine and, and Bill we talked I saw Raider players running open earlier in the game when the seven both field goals Kansas City has got to find a way to contain these guys and letting them run up the field too easily extra point is good 558 remaining in the half 20 to 7 Raiders fifth touchdown catch of the year for Porter you saw a great pump fake by Kerry Collins Jerry Porter didn't do anything other than just run across the field and the safety must have gone with Kerry Collins' pump fake he bit William Barty Touchdown, and easy touchdown for the Raiders. Cheering Kerry Collins now. Five straight completions. 190, two touchdowns. The Raiders had won two of their last three coming in, still with faint playoff hopes at four and seven. Janikowski's kick, and Hall takes a knee. And that's a good way to stop the X-Factor. Well, big plays. North Turner, the Raiders love the big play. You're going to see Jerry Porter come across the field right through here. Watch the free safety. Go with the pump fake that Kerry Collins makes. He goes left, pump fake. Jerry Porter running man-to-man, -man, got behind everybody. And Kerry with that big time, big league arm, gets the ball out there in front, over the top of everybody. Jerry Porter... He's got the speed, he's got the ability to make a lot of big plays, and he's shown it the last couple weeks on a regular basis. From the 20, first and 10 for Kansas City. Green. And that's caught by the tight end, Dunn. And he bulls his way out across the 30 to the 32-yard line. And let's check in in New York for an NFL update. All right, Bill, Can San Diego hosting the Denver Broncos and LaDainian Tomlinson from a yard out scores his second touchdown of the day. The Chargers lead it by a touchdown, 14 to seven, seven minutes to play in the first half. Bill and Steve, back to you. Greg, thank you very much. Last week, the Raiders upset Denver, knocking them out of first place while San Diego rallied to beat Kansas City. And there is no let up in those Chargers. They're getting more and more confident each week. First and 10, the pitch to Johnson. Fights his way to the 35-yard line. Larry Johnson, first-round pick in 03.
Second year out of Penn State, and he's been waiting for an opportunity to play. Yeah, you know, there was a little tension early in the season between Larry Johnson and Dick Vermeil. A couple of comments, Larry Johnson frustrated he's not getting more playing time, but you know, when you're sitting behind Priest Holmes and Derek Blaylock, it's hard to get on the field. Those guys are both guys that know this offense that really are good, solid players. Second and eight from the 35. Green flushed from the pocket. Dumps it out, is complete. It was intended for Tony Richardson. Bobby Hamilton provided the pressure there, the defensive end. And already we see Bill through 11 games. Kansas City has eclipsed their total by a long shot. They had three losses on the whole season last year. Already having eight this year on their way to nine if they don't get it awakened here before too long because you don't want to get too far behind the Raiders in Oakland. It's a hard place to come back. Third. Green steps up Richardson Richardson has a Kansas City first down out across the 45 to the 47 yard line Tim Johnson made the stop after a pickup of 12 and quiets the crowd for the moment Trent Green his numbers 97 yards touchdown and an interception and the interception, the bad, bad play. The Raiders capitalized, scored seven. And Trent, you know, he didn't practice like that all week until Friday. That's hard to get a complete grasp of the game plan. He would never use that as an excuse. But I think he's going to get it going here before it's all said and done as well. Short drop out to the flat. Kennison was his first catch of the day. And driven out of bounds at the 45-yard line. And I didn't I didn't mean to imply there that, that that interception was just a bad break on it was not a bad decision. It was not bad timing. That was just a fall down by Johnny Morton and a, a great opportunistic play by Charles Woodson. Eddie, by the way, has now caught a pass in 47 straight games. That's the fourth longest streak in Chiefs history. Second and two after the pickup of eight. They keep it on the ground. Johnson with a nice hole and another kick. The city first down, down to the 41 yard line. Grant Irons made the stop. And one thing we know is that the Kansas City Chiefs will not let up offensively. They've got a huge playbook, a huge arsenal. There's Derek Blaylock. It looked like he's too excited about getting back in right now. But Larry Johnson or Derek Blaylock, whoever's in, they've got a huge offensive line to pound that ball up in there behind. They get movement, they get push, they get opportunities. Timeout, Kansas City. That's their first. It's a 30-second timeout. Kansas City takes a 30-second timeout. With 2.55 remaining in the half. 20 to 7. Raiders. On the next tell half. Time report. We check in on the Denver San Diego game. Just a huge game for the Chargers. Their biggest game in years. First down. Green able to step up, get rid of it, and incomplete. In and out of the hands of Eddie Kennison. And I think this is a ball that Eddie Kennison would like to have back. Trent Green did a good job going through his progression. Put the ball on the sideline to Eddie. Right on the sidelines, Eddie Kennison is more than talented enough to make that catch. He's one of the top productive receivers in the league the last few years. He's got to make that catch, especially with his team looking for someone to step and make plays right now. Second and Green under pressure. How did he avoid that sack? And let's see if we get a flag. We're going to. It's going to be pass interference. Dante Hall was the intended receiver. Denard Walker had the coverage. And Trent Green able to avoid the corner blitz from Namdi Asamoa, who again was coming at full speed. Pass interference defense number 25. The ball is placed in the spot of the foul. First down. And they call it on Denard Walker. And it will be a Kansas City first down. And this was definitely pass interference. The ball was in the air. Denard has to come over the top of Dante Hall to make that catch. Good pressure by 
Namdi Asamoa right there. What an athlete Trent Green is. <laughs> Pumping, ducking, getting underneath it, and finding a way to make a play. From the 27-yard line off the play action, Green. Richardson battling his way inside the 25 down to the 24. <laughs> You see Big Warren Sapp walking around without that helmet on right now. He used some brute strength to uh, to pull Tony Richardson back to where he wanted him to sit down. 12 men on the field defense. The five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat first down. Well, that's one way to shut him down, <laughs> huh? Put an extra guy out there. We talked with Warren Sapp about where he is in his NFL career few days ago and he said he he couldn't get used to all the young guys he said uh, a few weeks ago before the game against Carolina Carl Hankton came up to him had his hand out and said Mr. Sapp it's a pleasure to be on the same field with you and Ward said he looked at him and said get away from me he said, I'm, the, I'm getting too old for this it was a reality check for him right there he, he, he did not want to be held in that regard because only older players are held in that regard under two and a half minutes remaining in the first half they keep it on the ground and Johnson on the delay and he dives forward down to the 17 16 yard line Clock continues to run 20 to 7 Raiders Chiefs trying to pick up a few points before halftime yeah it is really important this drive we're going to go down to the two minute warning but it is really important for Kansas City to come out of this drive with seven points You know, you go in at halftime down 20 to 14 as opposed to 20 to 7 or 20 to 10. You go in feeling good about yourself, a little bit more confident. We're going to get a measurement here to see whether they got the first down or not. And that's going to be almost a yard short. And then we get word that Will Shields, the Pro Bowl right guard for Kansas City, has an ankle sprain. We'll check on his status and keep you updated. We're going to get a two minute warning anyway here. That last second That's the two minute goes warning. off the clock. Two minutes. So we have reached the two minute warning here in Oakland. Chiefs are threatening. It's 20 to 7. Raiders. Two minute warning. Kansas City trailing 20 to 7. Green. To the end zone. That was intended for Eddie Kennison, and he was uh, well covered by Denard Walker. So it'll be third and short. Stop the clock. 155 left in the half. And a very good job by Denar Walker and all the Raider defenders there. Kansas City flat out. Tony Gonzalez got some good pressure from uh, the inside push there. Trent Green had to try and find a way to get the ball out of there. Eddie Kinnison one on one, but good coverage by Denar Walker. Nowhere really to throw that football. Down to the 15 yard line. That's good for a first down. Larry Johnson. You know, Bill, on that last play, that was Big Ted Washington coming up the middle of the 14 year veteran, known mainly as a run stop. But he got in there and put at least 340, 345 pounds on top of Trent Green after he threw that football. Trent Green and those ribs didn't appreciate that very much, I don't think. 123. Flush from the pocket, he takes off. Slides down to the 11-yard line. Warren Sapp made the tackle. They've done a good job on Tony Gonzalez. You know, this is an area where he thrives. Just one catch, 11 yards for Gonzalez today. They are really doing a good job on... That's their second. It's a 30-second timeout. And uh, if you're Dick Vermeil, this is one of the things you want to be careful. You've got a tender fragile Trent Green who quarterback in a three and eight team right now.
they want to make sure that this guy nothing serious happens to him and you know they got to get through this year but make sure that he is ready to go and healthy at the end of this season for next year for sure second time out for Kansas City our overhead shots from high above today's game provided by the Saturn light ship great to have all of the unique views from high above aboard the Saturn light ship 111 left in the half. Dick Vermeil taking a look at his chart. Man who has seen it all. And that guy's seen a lot too. Yeah. And Warren Sapp. <laughs> trust me, they know it's been a busy half for Warren. Very busy. <laughs> and they know Trent Green doesn't want to get hit by bodies either. Second and five, incomplete. Johnson was in the area. Yeah, that was a complete miscommunication that I would venture to say as well as Trent Green knows this offense that Larry Johnson probably did not make the proper adjustment because uh, he threw that ball to nobody. Larry Johnson is the only receiver on that side of the field. I think Trent Green thought he was going to do a five yard hitch route, which is what we call and a lot of times that's a very common route for a running back who's flexed outside. Larry Johnson just had a mental error there for sure. 13th play of the drive upcoming. The clock is down. They get it off. Green steps up, fires. That's caught. Might be good for a first down. Yeah, it looks like it is. They got it to the five yard line. Kennison. And so often we talk about receivers that stop short of the first down marker. And that time Eddie Kennison knew exactly what he needed to do. And Bernard Walker made the tackle. A good tight catch good strong decisive throw by Trent Green meanwhile Kansas City with one timeout remaining the clock continues to move 35 seconds remaining in the half Green Incomplete thrown too low that was intended again for Eddie Kennison and that was almost exactly the same play and I think that play it appeared that Eddie Kennison was even more open than he was on the previous play but Trent Green worried about getting that ball up, wanted it low, keep it away from the defenders, and it was just a little bit too low. You'll see Eddie Kennison just hook it up right there. If that ball's up a little bit, he makes that catch for a touchdown. Second and goal. 20 seconds left in the half. Green steps up, fires, incomplete. And again, it was Kennison in and out of his hands. And what we're seeing that Trent Green is really looking to Eddie Kennison instead of make a play here. The ball was a little bit high and behind Eddie. You know, it's one of those things. It was not a great throw by Trent Green. Would have been a, an unbelievable catch by Eddie Kennison to make that catch. But when you're in the NFL, every once in a while, you got to pull that down. 16th play. This is the longest drive of the year for Kansas City. Larry Johnson is out wide to the left side. Green on third and goal. Incomplete. And that was intended for Jason Dunn. So fourth down, and here comes the field goal unit. And give the Raiders credit. Trent Green did not want to move outside of the pocket here. He's looking for someone to throw it to. He's not getting any pressure, really. No gets open great job of coverage by the Raiders and Big Ted watching you see him rumbling around out there trying to get to Trent Green but just one of those plays where Trent really had nowhere to throw the ball to Danny Clark had some nice coverage so Tynes is on to try a 23 yard field goal and they wave it off whistles before the snap Raiders indicating it's against Kansas Before City. The ball was snapped. False start. Offense. Number 55. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Well, they call it on Gary Stills. He was a defensive lineman, but uh, comes out with the field goal unit. And you saw North Turner there. I don't think a head coach in this situation to be more pleased with how his team has played this first half and now it's from 28 yards out
Plenty of leg and good. The kick is good. So they didn't get into the end zone, but points for Kansas City. And they've narrowed the Raider lead to 20 to 10. And if you are the Raiders, you consider that a success because you know Kansas City needs a touchdown to really get that confidence going coming into the second half. In 96, San Diego got in starting four and seven in 1995. And that's what the Raiders are trying to do here in 2004. Gabriel scoops it up, tries to reverse his field and tripped up and falls down at the 28-yard line with 10 seconds remaining in the half. And, and in reality, Bill, <laughs> you know, the Raiders, for them to go 9-7 and seven would be an unbelievable accomplishment. But I think everybody from the top on down in the Raider organization understands that 9-7, and seven, coming from where they're at right now, probably will not get them in. It's a, it's a, we say that Baltimore is on the outside looking in. Jacksonville's on the outside looking in. The Raiders are way outside looking in right now. Gary Collins will take a knee. And that will bring us to the end of the first half. Greg Dan Shannon and Boomer will be along from our studio in New York with the Nextel halftime report after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Kansas City by no means out of it. Although that can be a little bit intimidating over in the black hole. <laughs> Let's look at the numbers from the opening half. Yeah, it's it's really look at that 13 first downs for the Chiefs to eight for the Raiders. But look at the passing yards 190 yards for the Raiders. Time of possession big advantage for Kansas City. But it doesn't matter. The Raiders are striking quick. It was Dick Vermeil's biggest fear. He knows he's got a young secondary, especially at safeties. That was the problem. You remember the long touchdown to Jerry Porter. Kerry Collins pump faked. Safety went flying to the left. J Jerry Porter was wide open over the top to the right. That's been the story of the ball game. Now, the amazing thing is how Kerry Collins has really come into form with this offense. Janikowski's kick, the second half, taken by Dante Hall at the three yard line. Hall still on his feet. We've got a flag thrown from behind. And he's finally stopped at about the 38-yard line. And we'll check the penalty. At Hockey League. Holding by the receiving team, number 96. 10-yard penalty. Kansas City keeps the ball. First down. And so Trent Green will bring Kansas City out with Larry Johnson in the backfield. He's the deep back. Play action. Green. And that is caught by Tony Gonzalez. And from the 30-yard line, first and 10. The Chiefs. Green will throw again. Right in that scene, caught by Kennison. And he dives into Raider territory. Woodson and Clark. That zone. And the ball is just barely in Oakland territory. First down. Johnson up the middle. And he gets it down to the 46-yard line. Ted Washington made the tackle. Johnson from the 46-yard line. Play action. We'll throw again. With time, finally sidearms it. Kennison with some room. And out inside the 20, excuse me, Larry Johnson. And Johnson will have another Kansas City first down. Dallas in motion, movement in the line. He might have gotten the right tackle, Chris Bober. Ball start, offense, number 67. Waters, number 54, who's playing at a Pro Bowl level. Coaches believe if they were winning, he'd be a no-brainer for the Pro Bowl. Johnson, down to the 18-yard line. Woodson was the first man there. Priest Holmes, Derek Blaylock, they like to get on the edges a little bit more. Trent Green, three, three for 66 yards on this drive. Big hole up the middle for Johnson, and he gets it down close to the 10. Stops at the 11-yard line. And you're seeing a couple of things here. Larry Johnson, he likes to be square lines. He's going to take a step and hit it straight through the way here. Good push by Brian Waters. Casey Wigman, the center, giving him a chance to see the cutback lanes and take it straight ahead when he gets those shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and makes his decision 
You can see why Larry Johnson was a first round draft choice. Out of Penn State, eight carries, nine yards. Third and three for Kansas City. Green. And that is caught. Kennison. Tight. You've got to make the throws and the catches. First and goal. Johnson left side. Trying to get the corner and does. Touchdown. But a flag is down on the play. Tony Richardson provided a great lead block. But now we have to check the penalty. Hockey Lee and his crew will sort things out. There was no foul on the play for holding. Second down. A spot to make that cut, get up the field, get it in the end zone. Times had to try the extra point as the touchdown stands. And Kansas City finds the end zone to start the second half. And it's 20 to 17 now. Ravens. Clock. Trent Green was 4 4 on that drive. Short. Written by Gabriel on the run at the 20. And driven out of bounds hard at the 32 yard line. And that's where the Raiders will start first and 10 after the Kansas City touchdown. 2016 here in Oakland. The stadium, September 18th, 1966. It was Kansas City 32, Oakland 10. First possession of the second half for the Raiders. Collins will throw on first down, and that is caught. Nice grab by Ronald Curry, who's had a good game. And we do have a ball game now, Bill, with that big score by Kansas City. More of the same from the Raiders. Oh, Kerry Collins dropping back, getting enough time. Kansas City wants to get pressure on Kerry Collins. You give him time out there. His receivers are good enough. He's got the arm to make all the throws, puts that ball right on the money to Ronald Curry. Kerry does a good job stepping up in the pocket. It's more than enough time to make that 15-yard comeback throw on the outside. Six catches, 88 yards, and a touchdown for Curry. And again, Collins will be the air. And that is incomplete. It was intended for Justin Fargus. He never got the handle, and he was hit immediately by Quentin Caver. And Justin Fargus probably wishes this ball was not thrown to him. Listen to this. We've had some big hits today. We have, and that's one of those where it's almost not worth the catch. You know, you, you pick up no yards on the play if you catch it, and you take the big hit. J.R. Redman has checked in. Those kinds of hits, that's what you've come to expect over the years from the Raiders and the Chiefs. Collins guns it. Porter. Driven out of bounds and a flag. We had some late action on the play from Dexter McLeon. And Scott Fujita came over there late and hit, jumped in the pile as well. That's it. During the run, personal foul, unnecessary roughness by the offense, the runner. 84, blew to the head while he was carrying the ball. That's a 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. Second and 20. Redmond again alone in the backfield. Porter's the motion man. Collins under pressure Steps up and brought down the ball may have popped out and again Ed Hockley and company will try to sort things out and after that football it's hard to hang on to it that was Karika Mitchell the middle linebacker to the ball Collins pressure again able to keep his feet and finally dives down at the 40 yard line Jared Allen had him by the ankle a, but he's got to be careful to protect that football when he's stepping up in the pocket. Jared Allen, by the way, leads the Chiefs and rookies in the NFL with five sacks. He's had a great rookie year. Whistles. Now wave off the punt. Before the ball was snapped, false start. Offense, number 40. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. Back at the 19. Dante Hall awaits his punt, and that's a good high kick. Hall will let it go, and it bounces into the end zone. Just a tremendous 66 yards from Shane Leckler. 2017 Oakland.
It looked a little bit like a punch. Uh, Jerry Porter knows exactly what he He's just trying to, trying to brown nose a little bit there. Larry Johnson is back in and a tailback. First down from the 20. They give it to Johnson. Cuts back inside. Gets it close to the 25-yard line. Tuesday on in second and six for Kansas City. Raiders lead 20 to 17 midway through the third quarter. Green will throw the out route, and it's caught by Kennison, and finally out of bounds at the 44-yard line. About it. They got to try and shut him down on this drive. Turn Green now over 200 yards passing. First down. Now to Gonzalez, and Gonzalez is close to midfield. <laughs> Gonzalez had his fourth 100-yard receiving game last week, and one of the all-time great tight ends in the National Football League through his first five years, five straight Pro Bowls. Yeah, he's already tied for fourth in that career touchdown category. He's got a long way to go to catch our, our own Shannon Sharp as far as some of those career numbers, but he's on a pace for 93 receptions, which would tie the team record he set in 2000. Up the middle, Johnson, and he almost broke it. Stopped by Danny Clark, and if Clark hadn't brought him down, he had open field all the way to the end zone. And on Tony Gonzalez, I will just say this, if he can stay healthy, He's still got a lot of years left in him. I, I think uh, even Shane Sharp would admit that those numbers, he probably might have wanted to play another year or two to try to get a little more distance from Tony Gonzalez because he's going to make a run at that before it's all said and done. He was matched up last week on the other side of the field from Antonio Gates. And people talk about how good Gates is, and he certainly is. He hasn't done it over a long period of time. Beat hole for Johnson. Another first down and more. Larry Johnson. And he's inside the 10, finally. Driven out of bounds by Stuart Schwagert. Wow, what a great job by Willie Rowe. Ryan Waters on the left side. They just block down and block, open up a hole that is so big for Larry Johnson. They just caved down that whole left side. And Larry Johnson didn't even have to make a move, but had the speed to get outside, get to the corner. He knows how to do the rest. Now we see Derek Blaylock back in there for the first time. Larry Johnson getting a breather. Longest run of the year for Johnson. 12 carries, 80 yards now. Laylock on the toss. Able to keep his feet. Fights for maybe an extra yard. Danny Clark made the tackle. Pound it up in there, see what he can dig. Second and goal. Green. Out to Johnson. Johnson will score. Larry Johnson with his second touchdown of the game. Boy, great job by Trent Green and his whole offense to come back. Trent his times is on to try the extra point. And back come the Kansas City Chiefs here in the third quarter. 24 to 20. Kansas City with 416 remaining in the third. Back with more from Oakland. Third touchdown of the season for Larry Johnson. Kick is on its way. Taken by Gabriel at the four yard line. And he spins his way out close to the 25. Benny Sapp made the stop. 24-20, 4-11 left in the third. Tackle by Happens along the way. An amazing race Tuesday at 9, 8 Central on CBS. First down for the Raiders. A pump fake from Collins. He brings it in and brought down from behind. That was the rookie, Gerard Allen, with his sixth sack of the season. Isn't it amazing how quickly the tide can turn in a game like this? When you've got an explosive offense like the Kansas City Chiefs, all of a sudden they get the ball back a couple times, they score a touchdown. Their defense is now rejuvenated. Jared Allen and all the guys up front, Eric Hick, Ryan Sims, these guys are creating pressure now on Kerry Call. He's been pressured the last three times he's dropped back the pass. The Raiders can't seem to get a feel for it. 14 unanswered points by the Chiefs. 
Collins going to go deep, and that's going to be incomplete. And we've got a flag. And now let's check the penalty. We've got a flag and Ed Hockley's hat. <laughs> Looks like it might have involved the left defensive end, yeah. Eric Hicks. I think he's going to get hit for roughing the passer, but the original penalty, I think, might be on the Raiders, which magnifies the, the mistake by Eric Hicks that much more because they would have had the Raiders really push back. This is going to end up being offsetting these, I think. Take a look at that field. There's just stuff all over the field. Flags, hats. There were fouls by both teams on the play, holding offense number 76. There was also a personal foul, unnecessary roughness, roughing the passer by the defense of 98. The penalty's offset. Replay second down. So, you know, just like we said, they had the Raiders backed up. It would have been second and 20. Good pressure again. Kerry Collins can't get set in the pocket. They had the holding penalty. It was all set. Now, what is Eric Hicks doing right there? That, that, that is just not the kind of play you expect out of a seven-year veteran in the NFL. The guy's been around long enough to know you don't just slam a quarterback down. Maybe he thought Kerry Collins still had the ball. I don't know. But that is the kind of play. Dick Vermeil told us in the meeting yesterday, defensive penalties have been killing us at the wrong time. You make a good play, you get the advantage, you give it back to him. Well, let's see if it costs Kansas City. These are the kinds of little things that have hurt the Chiefs all year long. That's caught by Justin Fargus. Trying to make a move. And brought down by Winston Caver. Lionel Dalton had some pressure on Kerry Collins. And Lionel Dalton, yeah, he's making his presence felt in there. Third and three. Number 219. Two touchdowns. No interceptions. Both of these quarterbacks have been outstanding today. A very entertaining ball game as we near the end of the third quarter. Here they come with the blitz. Third and three. Collins gets rid of it, and that is caught for a first down. Ronald Curry, who has really blossomed over the last few weeks at wide receiver for Oakland. And that was really a good play by Kerry Collins. You know, he's a big guy. He's a strong guy. He's got the arm. He felt the pressure coming. He's one of the few quarterbacks that can actually give that ground, backpedaling, feel the pressure, buy himself a little extra time, and put the ball out there on a line into tight coverage to Ronald Curry to convert the big third down. Seven catches, 93 yards. That moves the chains. First and 10 for the Raiders from the 37. Collins trying to throw it back. All kinds of room for Teo Johnson, and he's close to another first down. That's a great call by North Turner. The Chiefs have been doing a great job creating pressure this second half on Kerry Collins. You'll see Gary Steele, 55. He's coming full speed. Kerry, great athletic play, feels the pressure coming, bought himself again a little bit extra time and can make that throw over the top. Norv Turner knows if you want to slow down a pass rush, one of the best ways to do it is throw a couple screens, get him to over pursue, get overly excited. They pitch it out to Fargus, left side, and he's hit hard at about the 45 yard line by Stills. Now, Kerry Collins really has spread the ball around. In each of the last seven weeks, he's completed a pass to and that's no impressive. I mean, that, that really is impressive. That's a, a testimony to, to how he's developed in this offense. Well, it's really it's understanding all, the offense and understanding all the different possibilities. Right. And it's a good job, North Turner and the offensive staff, of trying to find ways to utilize their different receivers, their different talents. Each of those guys, Jerry Porter, Ronald Curry, they all have different talents. they got to find ways to get the ball to them. Third and two. Porter. Touchdown, Raiders. And Porter's going to say he never touched the ground, but he was on top of the defender. William Barty. And Porter's saying, wait, I never, I never hit the ground. And 60,000 people here in Oakland agree with him. Well, let's see. I think he did, but that's just an opinion. We'll see what happens. He's wide open. Got a chance to make a good first down conversion. 
there's the knee down. He's down, no doubt about it. Good try, though, Gary. The first down. I like his energy. I like his enthusiasm. He's got a lot of life, and he's made a lot of plays these last few weeks for the Raiders, too. That was good for 11 yards. Nearing the end of the third. That goes back to 22 seconds. Now they'll run it. Final play of the third quarter. On the ground, zero away. He pops out. Nice gain down to the 36 yard line. Eric Warfield made the stop, and that's the end of the third quarter. With our score, Kansas City 24, Oakland 20. We'll be back to Oakland after this quarter. message and a word from your local station. And the drive upcoming for the Raiders as they try to answer the 14 second half points by Kansas City. Second down from the 37 yard line Collins. And that is caught by Zeroway. And he battles his way down to the 26 yard line. Quinton Caver made the tackle after a pickup of 11. Well Survivor Week. Folks. They will swallow you up if, if you don't not, watch if you're out. You're not a Raider fan. That's right. Look out. First down. Collins going up top. Touchdown. Ronald Curry. <laughs> he had a step on Dexter McLeon and Kerry Collins put it right there 26 yards and that is so impressive to see a guy a young guy who's really never played wide receiver develop as quickly and as confidently as he has Ronald Curry great throw by Kerry Collins huge play for the Raiders and back come the Oakland Raiders Curry eight catches 119 two touchdowns and he has let Oakland regain the lead. 27-24, just underway in the fourth. Just 229 yards and three touchdowns. The X Factor, Dante Hall, back deep. Hall takes it at the two. And it. Just shy of the 20, and we have a flag down. J.R. Redman, who's usually on the receiving end of those kinds of hits, brings him down. There's no foul for an illegal block in the back of the play because he was blocked into the tackle, which is not a foul. First down. They'll pick up the flag, and let's listen to this one. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you know what? It really, playing in the NFL, it really is just like getting in a car wreck every single week. I mean, it is a violent, physical game, and these guys feel it every single week. I'm telling you, I know from experience. And it's, it's the Chiefs and the Raiders, and that's the kind of play you get. That's right. That brings it out even more so. These two teams just don't like each other. First and ten, Green off the play action to the sideline, and that is caught. Another reception by Eddie Kinnison, and let's take another look, Steve, at the touchdown. Well, you're going to see Ronald Curry right up here at the top. We said all along the Chiefs are going to come up and play man-to-man -man coverage is what they do. They came with the blitz. Kerry Collins saw it immediately and knew where he wanted to go with that football. Ronald Curry beat Dexter McLean right off the ball. A fantastic throw by Kerry Collins. Six more points on another big play for the Raiders. They move the chains to the 35-yard line. They run the delay to Johnson. And Johnson gets it out across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Danny Clark made the stop. And here's what Larry Johnson has done. 
He didn't know if he's ever going to get a chance in Kansas City. Well, he's getting his chance today. How about this burst? Yep, and he's obviously shown he's ready to assume a little bit more responsibility. Second and four after the pickup of six. And again, it's Johnson slicing his way for a couple. Out to the 43-yard line. If you weren't with us earlier, Eric Blaylock absorbed a tremendous hit from Namdi Asamoah of the Raiders and had to leave the game. He returned for one play, but since that time, it's been all Larry Johnson. Laylock out with a slightly strained neck. Two tight ends, Gonzalez and Dunn, again up the middle. Power football from Kansas City now, close to a first down. Yeah, it's going to depend on the spot. It looks from here that they might have gotten enough to, to get the first down, but I think Ed Hockey's got to measure this one. Bobby Hamilton was the first man there. And there's Derek Blaylock. He's got that helmet on for the most part. He's got a little bit of a glazed look, if you ask me, though. And I, I, I think making the right decision, staying with Larry Johnson and, and letting Derek Blaylock kind of get through this week and hopefully clear the cobwebs out and be ready to roll next week. That was a tremendous hit. And uh, Derek Blaylock probably thinks he can play right now, but it's the right decision, I think, to let him let him rest a little bit. It's going to be a first down. About half the length of the football. And old Bobby Hamilton, number 98, almost got tomahawk chop by Ed Hockley in that, that first down signal right there. <laughs> I think uh, Ed Hockley would have probably felt that a little bit more than, than Bobby Hamilton. They spotted just past the 45 yard line. Just over 12 minutes remaining. 27-24 Raiders. One of the great rivalries in the National Football League. Pump fake from Green. He goes to the underneath man, Johnson. Johnson has some open space. And he gets it close to the 35. Another first down for Kansas City. And let's go back to our keys to the game and uh, revisit our eye on the Chiefs. Well, you know what? I don't think they accomplished this initially right there. They didn't start out very fast. The Raiders took control of the game. They did come out and make the big boys run early but the big one right here allow no big plays <laughs> they've allowed way too many big plays that's the story this game is a story of big plays by the raiders and it's going to be the deciding factor before it's all said and done from the 37 yard line first down we in and it's caught by the tight end dunn and dunn is out close to yet another first down and the chiefs are on the move and I am impressed by Trent Green and this Kansas City Chiefs offense, how they're, they want to find ways to get the ball to Tony Gonzalez, but they're seeing that the Raiders are pretty well prepared and doing a good job of kind of containing him, so they're finding ways to get other people involved in this passing game. Gonzalez, three catches for 32 yards in the game. Second and short. Johnson picks his way out close to the 20. Stopped by Hamilton and Schweigert at about the 21-yard line. That was a good, solid hit by Schweigert, Stuart Schweigert there, but it was five or six yards up the field. The Chiefs will take that every time. And Larry Johnson is the kind of running back that he's going to deliver the blow. He can take the big hit. If you come in there with your head or with your shoulder, you're going to feel it more than he is most of the time. Laylock comes back in. Johnson trots off the field. On first down. Kansas City trails by three. Green. Flushed from the pocket. Gets rid of it to Blaylock. And another big hit. Welcome back, Derek. Well, that was a heck of a catch by Derek to come back in off the bench cold and make that catch, take that kind of hit, hang on to the football. Let's listen to this one. <laughs> Boy, man, Danny Clark, the Raiders' leading tackler. Johnson checks back in. 
Ninth play of the drive. They give it to Johnson along the right side. He has the corner and another Kansas City first down. Boy, Larry Johnson is doing. You can't say enough about the job he's done today. We knew he was going to get some action, some playing time, but he is showing consistently that he knows what to do with that football and that he runs with aggressive authority every time he touches it. He is not tiptoed around and dilly dally today. Ryan, the defensive coordinator for the Raiders, has got to find a way to control that because Kansas City is able to do what they want to do offensively right now. Johnson goes over 100 yards, 17 carries, 104, and here's his 18th carry. And that'll be good for a couple. And by the way, we'd like to congratulate our producer, Ken Mack, and his wife, Laura. Ken is not with us today. He stayed home because of the birth late Thursday of his daughter, Ava uh, Rach Rock, who was uh, born Thursday night. And I'm sure Ken is with her right now watching her first Sunday of the NFL on CBS, charting plays and going over roll cues. So <laughs> welcome, Ava. You may not realize it yet, but you had a couple of great parents, and our congratulations to Ken and Laura. Second and eight, fake the reverse. They keep it on the ground up the middle. It's Blaylock, and Blaylock has it inside the 10 down to the seven yard line. Well, I got, I got to give Derek Blaylock some credit now. He's, he's showing how tough he is and what he's made of. He's not shying away at all. A hit like that a lot of times on a young running back might make you a little bit gun shy, but Derek Blaylock is sticking his head back in there playing football with the big boys. Big third down here for the Raider defense. Blaylock is in. Gonzalez in motion. Green guns it. And I don't know, it looks like it's about a yard short. That was the fullback Tony Richardson. So that will bring up fourth down. You know, you were talking about it earlier, Bill, knowing where those chains are, knowing how far you got to get. I think we would have liked to have seen about another two yards on that pass route because that's what they're about two yards short. They needed to, you got to know where that first down marker is because that completion really doesn't do much for you. Times will try to tie it up. 22 yard field goal attempt. On its way, and good. So 6.59, left to play. We're all tied up at 27. Four lead changes. That drive, 13 plays, 74 yards. It took 7.14 off the clock. That, that guy right there looked like one of your relatives. It looked very similar <laughs> resemblance to you there, Bill. Well, you know, how do you Not tell me your brother was here? With, you didn't tell your brother came to the game. Taken by Gabriel at the six-yard line. Gets it out across the 25 to the 28-yard line. And that's where the Raiders will start. First and 10. They sort things out on the field, and we'll be back to Oakland in a moment. Boy, the holidays are busy. I can never get everything done. But my brother Chris, he was born ready. Heck, he was walking at three months. Me? I prefer the thrill of last minute shopping. Hi, I need some stuff quick. Sure. For my wife, my uncle, three cousins, and some elves. All right. There's only one Chris Kringle. For the rest of us, there's Best Buy. In two days. Get born. The Born Supremacy explodes onto DVD. Why are they still after me? Packed with pulse pounding extras that will blow your mind. Get it. The Born Supremacy on DVD in two days. Introducing Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Layer upon layer of flavor. Creamy blend of cheeses and herbs between two thin crusts. Buy your medium one topping Double Melt Pizza for $9.99 and get any second medium pizza for just $5 more. Get the door. It's Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Introducing 300 horsepower Acura RL. With voice activated technology and super handling all wheel drive, power can be shifted front to rear, side to side, and while cornering, 
the outside rear wheel is accelerated for dramatically improved handling in all weather conditions. The all-new Acura RS. So the Raiders will take it at their own 34-yard line. First and 10, 6.55 left to play. Collins straight back with time. Steps up. It's caught. Now to the 35, 36-yard line, complete to J.R. Redman. And let's look back on our eye on the Raiders, well, see how they've done. The Raiders are right where they want to be. They've exploited the Kansas City safeties a couple of times with a pump fake by Kerry Collins. They've definitely contained Tony Gonzalez. And then finally, they built off last week. They made a lot of big plays last week against the Denver Broncos. We said they had to use that for their confidence to get themselves moving in the right direction as this season wrapped up, and they have done that. Clock continues to run. 6.15 remaining. Collins again, that's incomplete, intended for the tight end, Doug Jolly. And let's check in with Greg Gumbel in New York for an NFL update. Greg? All right, Bill, in San Diego, the battle for the top spot in the AFC West. Open drones, four yards for a touchdown. Denver creeps to within six of San Diego, 20 to 14. Bill and Steve, back to you. All right, Greg, thank you very much. A look at the standings in the AFC West. Who would have believed that at the start of the season? Well, not San me. San Diego, eight and three. You got to give Marty Schottenhammer a lot of credit there, boy. He, he stuck to his guns, and they're coming around and definitely buying into it. Third and two. Collins under pressure. Keeps his feet. Going out. Gets rid of it. He's caught. Guess who? Ronald Perry. And Curry appears to be shaken up. Ryan Sims was pressuring Kerry Collins. And Willie Pyle finally made the stop on Curry, and he is still down. It's a great job by Kerry Collins. Let's see what happened to Ronald Curry. He goes up for the ball. Great catch. Not many guys in the NFL can make that throw. An injury timeout, and we'll return to Oakland in a moment. I'd like. Well, Ronald Curry leaving the field. Nice ovation from the fans here in Oakland. His day will end. Nine catches, 141 yards, two touchdowns. And let's see if we can pick up where the injury occurred. Wow, it looked like that foot got twisted very badly in a very awkward position. You hate to see that happen to a guy who's just starting to come into his own like Ron Curry has. Throw away nothing inside, so tries to bounce it outside and picks up three. What? You, 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 to, when you look at it, you see how that left foot was just really twisted in a bad, bad position. Uh, it was pinned into the turf, and it's just, uh, just such a shame to see that happen. Well, he was such a weapon for Kerry Collins and the Raiders. Coming into the game, he really had moved the chains of 41 yep. receptions. 23 of those were for first downs, and four were for touchdowns. And added two more touchdowns today. Second down. On the screen, Justin Fargus, and he's brought down hard at the 36 yard line. Kerry Collins, well, he's used the whole package today. Got a lot of different receivers. That was Zach Crockett. Here's the pass to Porter. And we get rid of it to Fargus there. And that was to Teo Johnson. And then Curry up the sideline. Kerry Collins has had a very special day, over 300 yards. Third and four, big play. Collins up the seam. Almost picked off. And Bill, you talk about the kind of day he's had. He's avoided that kind of throw right there. That's the kind of throw that has gotten Kerry Collins into trouble in the past. A play called to get the ball at the field. Great coverage by the Kansas City Chiefs for one of the few times today they've been in good position. But this that you can see there's th three Kansas City Chiefs right there around the ball that could have made a play on that. Kerry Collins and the Raiders are very fortunate 
that they didn't pay a, a more severe price with interception there. Jerry Porter was well covered, so we'll see Shane Leckler standing at the 49 yard line. Dante Hall is at the 10. High short kick. That gets called for and made at the 12 yard line. 25 yard punt, but well inside the 20 yard line. 4.01 left to play. Still tied at 27. Had a couple of close ones last year. Tim Brown taken down at the one yard line, and then in the rematch at Kansas City, Morton Anderson had the 35 yard field goal with four seconds left. And that was the difference, 27-24, Kansas City. And this is such a great rivalry. You look at that, the game's decided by three points or less. The Raiders three and one, Chiefs one and three. These games, these two teams, it always comes down to the final few minutes of the ball game. Well, that's what we've got. Pretty much book it. Gonzalez in motion. Trent Green tips in and that was very dangerous for Kansas City. And what have the Chiefs done their last four possessions? That's pretty good. 17 plays, field goal, eight plays, touchdown, seven plays, touchdown, 13 plays, field goal. They have not been stopped since the last drive of the third quarter. Dodged the bullet there. They did. That ball could very easily have ended up going the other way. Second and 10. Johnson fights his way out to the 20. Larry Johnson has had a breakthrough game. He sure has. And you see the patience of Al Saunders, the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, second and long, running the ball up the middle, knowing the Raiders are going to be playing pass, trying to get it in a manageable third down situation. Backed up. They know how important it is to get a couple of first downs here to at least control the field position a little bit. Third and two. Green keeps it. And that is caught. Yes. First down, Kansas City. Eddie Kennison. See why Kansas City is so good on offense. Trent Green making a great throw. Eddie Kennison with a great catch. Here's what Kansas City has coming up at Tennessee, Denver, Oakland, and then down at San Diego. Chiefs, by the way, now eight of 12 and third down. And that was the biggest one of the day right there. We keep it going, Johnson. Out to the 30 yard line. Clock continues to run. And Just you, over two and a half minutes remaining. Excuse me, Bill, you won't see any panic at Trent Green and the Kansas City Chiefs. They've been here so many times. They've got three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. So time is not even an issue right now for the Chiefs. Both teams with all their timeouts remaining. Second and five for Kansas City. All in motion. Green straight back. All kinds of time. Johnson. Oh, oh, Kennison. It's still on his feet. Eddie Kennison scores. Seventy yards. Absolutely unbelievable. And that silences the crowd here in Oakland. Eddie Kennison. Wow, just straight up the seam. Trent Green did a great job of holding Stuart Schweigert to one side of the field. Knew he had Eddie Kinnison going up the middle of the field and put the ball on the money. And then Eddie Kinnison has the ability and the strength to break through Stuart Schweigert tackle and take it to the house. Longest pass play it's this away. year. Green to Kinnison, 70 yards. The extra point is good. 2.04 left to play. 34-27 Kansas City. And here you see, you see Trent Green drop back. Watch number 30, Stuart Schwager. He's moving away from the, the ball, from the where Ken, Eddie, Eddie Kinnison was. And then he was trying to strip the ball. Got a little bit too caught up in trying to pump the ball out of there as opposed to just making the tackle. Big mistake by Stuart Schwager. I really don't know what took him to the other side of the field either because Trent Green 
was not looking that way. He just backed over that way, and here's Trent Green. He knows, hey, Eddie Kinnison has been my playmaker for several years now. He's my money guy, him and Tony Gonzalez. Let's let him make a play, and Eddie Kinnison came through. 501 yards total offense today for Kansas City. Trent Green is now thrown for 340, three touchdowns and an interception. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and an interview with Bob Dylan. That's followed by Cole Case. Then the original holiday movie, A Very Merry Christmas. Tonight on CBS, America's Most Watched. <laughs> you wear it very well, my friend. The lead change of this game. Ted Gabriel is back deep. The Raiders have all of their timeouts. That's taken at the four-yard line. Gabriel. And he's brought down hard at the 26-yard line. Now, if I'm Kansas City right now, we've been exploited all day, big plays. How are we going to stop the Raiders right now? We're going to find out in a minute. With 158 on the clock. Making the right throw and making them pay for it. The Raiders have all of their timeouts remaining. They start from their own 25-yard line. 158 left. Collins. Over to the sideline for Porter incomplete. And let's check in with Greg Gumbel in New York for an NFL Today update. All right, Bill, it's all over in Washington between the Giants and the Redskins. Three touchdown passes for Patrick Ramsey, including that four-yard shovel to Clinton Portis. The Redskins all over the New York Giants today, 31-7. Bill and Steve, back to you. Oh, goodness. Well, Eli Manning's going through it right now. He's you got to let him learn. He's not having a lot of fun right now, though, I can tell you that much. Second and 10. Collins, under pressure, gets rid of it. That's caught. And that's John Stone, who has come in for Ronald Curry. Stone is the second year free agent out of Wake Forest, and that was a big catch. Good pressure by John Browning on that play to get up and carry Collins' face. Pickup of 18 yards. Raiders will take a timeout. Here's what they've got left at Atlanta, then Tennessee here at Kansas City in three weeks, and they'll conclude the season against Jacksonville. Coming up next on 60 Minutes, why would Bob Dylan break his long silence and do his very first television interview in 19 years? There's a way to find out. Watch 60 Minutes next except for those of you on the West Coast. Well, Bill, we stated before this drive started that if I'm the Kansas City Chiefs, you do whatever you've got to do to make the Raiders drive the length of the field because you haven't made them do it all day. I don't think you get up and you challenge them and you play man-to-man -man defense and give them a chance to make another big play. Collins. Red into Kansas City territory. That will move the chains, and they're down to the 46-yard line. Well, Bastian Janikowski, by the way, has a career long of 55 yards. That came a year ago against Detroit. Collins to Porter overthrows everybody. Willie Pyle had some good coverage, a strong safety. I'll tell you, the quarterback ratings today, they're the numbers for Collins, 43 yards. The quarterback ratings for today, 114 for Trent Green and 127 for Collins. Now these, these next few games, and, and this game today is in, in particular, are going to go a long way in deciding where the Raider team is going to go, not only for the rest of this year, but for next year. Kerry Collins can establish himself, and has started to do that with his great comeback win in Denver last week. If he can find a way to pull this one out, finish out the season strong, he will be accepted as a possible newcomer quarterback for the team. Sacked. Unable to get rid of it. Gary Stills with his second sack of the year. Timeout open. And That's that doesn't help. The 30-second timeout. Raiders will have to take another timeout. They've got one remaining, and that was a loss of nine. And you'll see Gary Stills at the top of your screen there. He comes in a little bit late, gets the hit, first hit on Kerry Collins right there. 
good athletic linebacker defensive end kind of hybrid does a great job of being athletic using his body using his speed to keep those that. offensive tackles a little bit off guard and off balance the Raiders trying to bring it back against Kansas City but the Oakland offense without their biggest weapon today Ronald Curry that's the game on the, the stretcher. Now it's important. Kerry Collins, he, he knows he's got two plays to get the first down. You don't have to try and get all of it on this play unless it's wide open. 102 remaining. Collins fires. Almost picked off. A couple of Chiefs had a chance at it. Intended for Doug Gabriel. He was well covered. He was well covered. And I, I am really impressed with the pressure the Kansas City Chiefs have been able to generate the second half. We talked to Dick Vermeil. He said that is one of the keys to try and get up in Kerry Collins' face, not let him have time to stand back there and find those receivers. Now it all comes down to this, fourth and 18. You know the Raiders got to go for it up the field this time. 55 seconds left. But the clock won't matter if they don't get a first down here. Collins up the center. Incomplete. And John Stone had three or four steps, but it will go over on downs. And Kansas City will win it. Kerry Collins, 343. Three touchdowns. A good solid day for Kerry Collins. Just not quite enough. Well, the executive producers of the NFL on CBS are Sean McManus and Tony Petiti. The coordinating producer is Lance Barrow. The coordinating director is Mike Arnold. Today's game was produced by Bob Dekas, directed by Andy Goldberg. The senior producer of CBS Sports and the NFL Today is Eric Mann. Director is Bob Matina. The coordinating producer of CBS Sports is Harold Bryant. The associate director of today's game, Andy Kaplan, and the broadcast associate, Jason Headings. Thanks to all those folks for their fine work this week you know you got a good shot at Dick Vermeil there a minute ago and I'll tell you they go to four and eight but I'll tell you what even though the season is over for him pretty much from a playoff perspective it feels so much better getting on that plane after a win they needed this win after a four game losing streak no consolation from North Turner and the Raiders but you got to feel good for Dick Vermeil. Well, the Chiefs with an offensive explosion today. Johnson, 100-yard rushing day. Kennison, 100-yard receiving day. And Trent Green, over 300 yards passing. I'll let the clock run out, and that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to follow the Raiders throughout the year on Radio 560 AM. KSL. And again, the special interview with Bob Dylan tonight on 60 minutes, that'll be followed by Cold Case and the CBS holiday movie, A Very Married Christmas. So the final score, 34-27 Kansas City. You're